<laughs> had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. I started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you want to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous.
found Siri. And we trained. Those were the days. Mm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Well, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best.
What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower.
The world where Aridan couldn't find you. What was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. We should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunter lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. At times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, I felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward.
I... I was too late to help him. It's not your fault. I should not have led her to come on. I nearly killed you. Killed everyone. I can't cry. Don't know how. Don't blame yourself. No witch has ever died in his own bed. You don't know how it is to see someone you love die because of you, for you. who remain, death should never take precedence over life.
never gave me piggyback rides at Cairn Morhen, remember? Vesemir was the only one willing. <laughs> Had to wait till now to remind me. You've put on some weight since Cairn Morhen. <laughs> <laughs>
guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, he used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. The prophecies are true. I have seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. You don't have to make this sacrifice. There's gotta be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? 
You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. I don't know that you've chosen wisely, and though I feel no gratitude, I'll not send you away empty-handed. Look, the petal edges darken, the flower closes and I am overcome with sleep. Good night, stranger. You must leave. The rose awaits outside this world. While I, I descend once more into my dream of what was. Beautiful. 
She looks alive. She is, in a way. Iris painted this and entered it. What's it? How? I don't know. She loved you. Maybe she just wanted to be close again. She wished to be close. After all the past. Iris. What a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end.
Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. You look good. Come. Don't just stand there. I want a hug. Like my new house? The house is lovely. But it could use a bit of work. Yeah. Got plans for it, don't worry. For me, or at least tried to. I was thinking of Eskel and Lambert.
don't say goodbye. Of course we don't. I don't know when we'll see each other again. You know where to find me. You can't possibly stay at Kermorhen all the time. Makes no difference. You'll find me. True. Remember what I taught you. Never know. Could be useful there too.